Question 29, 45% of 460. Well, the easiest thing to do here is break down the 45% into easy percentages that we can do. So 10% will be easy, another 10%, another 10%, another 10%, and 5%. These are all percentages that we should be able to find reasonably easy to work out in our heads. So 10%, remember 10% of anything that has a zero, you can just knock the zero off. So 10% of 460 is going to be 46. So the other 10% of 460 is also going to be 46. This 10% will be 46. This 10% of 46. And 5% is going to be half of the 46 because it's going to be half of 10%. Well, half of 40 is 20 and half of 6 is 3. So that's 23. Now, we will come back to that in a second. Just be careful, though, about knocking the zero off because sometimes there wouldn't be a zero there. So 10% of 460 yeah that is 46 but if it was 10% of 462 obviously you can't knock the zero off there you've then got to move all the digits backwards one place so that would be 46.2 10% of 467 would be 46.7 so just be careful we've been able to knock a zero off but if it's if there's no zero there you've actually got to move the digits backwards to find your 10 percent anyway back to the question we've got our 10 percent so are all 46s and we've got our five percent is 23 so all we've got to do now is find the total of this because if we add it all together we'll get 45 percent six plus six plus six plus six well four sixes are 24 plus 3 is 27 put the 7 in carry the 2 4 4 4 and 4 well 4 4 is 16 plus the 2 is 18 plus the 2 is 20 so put the 0 in carry the 2 but because we've run out of digits the 2 can just go in so our final answer is 207 now it does make sense when you think about it because 50% of 460 would be half of that and half of 460 would be 230. So we've actually got an answer which is slightly less than 230, which is 207. Well, if 50% is 230, a bit less, 45%, it's going to be a bit less than 230. We've got 207. So that is the correct answer.